The tribute to the man who has led this show for nearly three years, guiding us through some of the most important, consequential, and difficult stories this week has ever taken on. Dax DeHara became our executive producer just a couple of weeks after his 35th birthday and a couple of weeks before the COVID-19 pandemic shut down much of the United States. He led our coverage of that pandemic, of January 6th, and so much more. He took this show to Ukraine before and after the Russian invasion. He believed our mission was to be tough but fair, to hold those in power accountable and never losing sight that our most important audience is outside of Washington. It breaks my heart to say that two days before Christmas, Dax died suddenly. The news was a gut punch. I still can't believe it. And not just because he was just 37 years old, but because Dax was as full of life as anybody I've ever known. His time on earth was too short, but he lived like every moment counted. In college, he served as the publisher of his school's newspaper, the Dartmouth. He loved it. There was no doubt journalism would be his calling. He worked at NBC, launching two new shows while he was still in his 20s. And at Fusion, ABC's joint venture with Univision, he served as executive producer for one of journalism's true pioneers, Jorge Ramos. Jorge and I had the opportunity to toast tax just before Christmas, both agreeing we had been lucky to work with him and to count him as a friend. Dax was passionate about his work and even more so about his family. Speaking to a group of ABC News colleagues just last month, he noted the big changes in his life since he started to work at ABC. In my time at ABC, I've gotten married. I've had two children. One turns five months tomorrow. One turns two today. So I am going to bolt out to try to blow out the candles. Thank you, Kim, for having me. Thank you all for your support of the Sunday show. The love of Dax's life was his wife, Veronica, and their two children, Sophia and Ella. It was with great pride that Dax brought Sophia and Ella to this week in September. He was happy, living the life of his dreams. Ella and Sophia, I want you to know, your father was a great talent, but more importantly, he was a good man. And he loved the two of you and your mother more than anything in the world. Dax was as competitive as anybody in a field filled with competitive people. He was also fun, vibrant, and endlessly energetic. A mentor to young people on this staff, at his alma mater, and throughout this business. The very last project Dax worked on was the closing credits to today's show. It's that time at the end of one year and the beginning of a new one where we recognize the hard work of the people who make this show possible each and every week. So I bid you farewell with Dax's final tribute to the people he worked with and who miss him more than words can express.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.